this second gear again here. Second again, rolling 2500 RPM. Just brake loose. Needs tires really bad. Well, today, guys, was supposed to be a good day. It's supposed to be a really good day. We're getting new tires for the Corvette, but it has been raining all morning. So, but I gotta get them loaded up and get out of here. We got an appointment at 10 o'clock. I've been looking forward to burning these things off the car for weeks, but got home last night late. And I did not have an opportunity to do it, unfortunately, but it's kind of inspecting these tires. Looks like the thing, these some, the car was driven through a damn construction zone or something. A bunch of different little chunks of metal sticking in it. A couple of different nails. There's one. That's probably why this had a slow leak. Uh, but the tires are in rough shape too. Really low mile car. So I think for the last couple of years or so, uh, I probably just sat most of the time. We got a little bit of this dry rot stuff going on. So I, I just couldn't run these tires much longer at all. Um, but you can see the cracking throughout. They feel super dry to the touch even, uh, and just no grip whatsoever. So really been looking forward to, there's another one, getting some good tires on this car and actually seeing what it can do. So let's head out. Just thinking the other day about all the cars I've had over the years, it's been like 30 or 31 cars over the last 15 years or so. So I've run a, a lot of different tires, a lot of different tires, brands, different types. I've never run this specific tire. I know I haven't run this tire. The brand though, I feel at one point or another, I think I've had these. Yo. Hey, the Nissan crowd here today, buddy. This is why I hate taking my stuff places. Need my own tire machine apparently now. God damn. These are the Yokohama Advan Apex. I'm scared, I just ate. <laughs> this factory size, 325-30-19s. Uh, relatively inexpensive. I, I should start by saying that I got these for a few reasons. One, I haven't run these on any vehicles in the past. Uh, and they're a 280 tread wear, so uh, they should give me a good amount of grip. I wasn't going to do anything crazy with the car right now. Uh, we're late in the season, or really the, the season is over, so I'm uh, not too worried about going wild. I wasn't going to get Toyo Proxy's Archer Plates out of the gate. Uh, no need, you know, the car is all stock right now, so we'll see what we do with the car. And uh, if we have to upgrade uh, to a higher quality tire, we'll see what all of the reviews that I saw on this tire are really, really positive, especially for the price point couple other options in the same price point too uh, that people might say well why didn't you do this or that tire 280 tread wear should be really grippy uh, good reviews on this tire um, but also it's much lighter than the rest of them I think this is like 33 pounds some of them were getting up to 36 and 40 pounds at this size and why increase the weight uh, I like the the overall weight I liked the price point I like the reviews that I was seeing and you know we're not putting a ton of miles on this car so 280 tread wear is gonna be fine for us uh, I'm excited to see how the car handles. Does it feel fast? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, fatty fat fats. Okay, feel them now. Just get all up in there. I mean, you can just tell. Like, that's... The other I mean, ones this felt is like tire. the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I mean, seems right to me. <laughs> Rubber. They should only they should last us at least five thousand miles. Well, it's still wet right now, but I wanted to get out and just see how these tires felt. Um, seemed to be quiet. Seemed to ride pretty pretty smooth and comfy, uh, cushy. They put about 36 psi of air in them, so I'm not really. I, I generally run a like 30, 31, maybe 32 ish. Uh, so it's a little high for my liking, but the tires feel good. It's supposed to dry up a little bit today, so we'll get it out again once uh, the road starts to get a little bit dried out. The weak point of these tires is their wet traction too. So I'm not. My expectations are. I have I have reasonable expectations. I think right now driving this car around, but uh, the, anything's better than. Those crappy old dried out tires we were running before. Let's see if we can roll into second here. Yeah, they 
they break loose. It's wet as hell. So far, they're riding really nice and smooth, nice and quiet, no complaints. Uh, those old Michelins that I had, those dried out old Michelins, they felt like this car had 700 horsepower and they were like 500 treadwear tires or something crazy. They, it, they, there was absolutely no traction whatsoever, period. It was terrible. So these are gonna be a fantastic upgrade, no matter what. Even if these are the worst choice high performance tires out there on the market for this car, they're going to be better than what I had. So I can't wait till the road dries up here a little bit. We'll see, we'll see what kind of traction we can get. It's been a while since you've been in the car, mm -hmm. but do you remember how fast it felt when we were getting no traction at all? Yeah. The car was sliding around, couldn't yeah. get any grip. Okay. So just keep that in mind now as we go do this today. I'm scared, I just ate. <laughs> I just had a bowl of cereal. <laughs> we got new tires, so we have we have a little more grip now. So far so good with the new tires. The Yokohama Advan Apexes 280 Treadwear makes me a little bit nervous. I don't want to be changing these tires every season, but it's not a daily driver. We're not going to be doing a bunch of burnouts, that many burnouts. We'll try to keep them to a minimum. So uh, we shouldn't be burning through them too fast, but we definitely have the grip now that we were missing before. Even today it was 49 degrees. Uh, the, the road was still a little bit damp. We had a bunch of rain yesterday, as you saw. So um, they were hooking. You know, we can roll into first gear and still get them to spin a little bit, but uh, hitting second, they might chirp, but they were definitely gripping, and you can feel that extra torque being transferred to the ground more effectively than it was before. I mean, in those old dry Michelins, I was rolling into second gear and, and burning them off. So uh, it just, you could feel the car had the power, but you just couldn't feel the power of the car because you were spinning. So and now putting the torque to the ground, uh, you're really getting momentum going forward. So I'm excited to see what we can do with this car. Uh, we'll try to get some zero to sixties, maybe some eighth mile stuff. Uh, hopefully, well, spring will be here before you know it in South Carolina. We'll get to uh, the eighth mile dragway and we got some events coming up uh, in the spring. So we'll try to get everything dialed in uh, over the winter, uh, get all the maintenance stuff done and get make sure the thing is completely healthy. And then we'll really start the uh, modification stuff on the C6. So really excited for what's to come for this car. Hope you guys will follow along. I appreciate the support up to this point. So appreciate you watching again. We'll see you in the next one.